Hi guys, si Kajon na naman at nanonood kayo ng Sakay Pilipinas. Ngayon, ipapakita namin sa inyo ang Suzuki Espresso. Ayan. Kaya ano ba? Okay na ba? Panoorin na ba natin? Pero bago po yan, remember kung di pa po kayo subscribe, subscribe lang po kayo and click that bell icon at syempre yung like button pag nagustuhan nyo po itong video namin na ito. At always remember to watch us here in Pinoy Extreme Channel, okay? Ayun, ano nga ba? Okay nga ba? Ang Suzuki Espresso. Tingnan natin. Okay guys, una tignan natin yung harapan nito. Oh okay guys, makita nyo, no? may design dito. Kala nyo, air vent yan, pero sarado po yan. Ito lang po ang bukas na part sa may radiator. Dito may sarado na rin po yung part na yan. At napakaganda po syempre ng kanyang uh, tinatawag na bumper. no? May abang na po ito. Para po sa fog lamps na ipapakabit nyo kung gusto nyo palagyan. Diba? Napakaganda po, napaka-stylish po ng kanyang harapan, lalo na. At ikaw, punta po tayo dito. Okay, medyo layo lang po ang ating cameraman. Mataas po siya. Ito po ang specs ng taas niya. Kaya pagka kayo po ay dumaan sa mga medyo bahabang lugar, pwede nyo pong daan to. Kasi mataas po talaga ito. Huwag lang po yung hanglag pas leg na. Eh, hindi na po haanda yan. Pero mataas po. So, very good po sa baha at mga lubak po natin. Kayang-kaya po niyang daanan yun. Okay? Tapos, dito po tayo. At tulad din po sa harapan, meron din po dito sa likod na magandang design ng bumper niya. I don't know, pwede nyo pa pasadya ang butasan niya para malagyan nyo ng uh, another light, no? Uh, pero all in all, napakaganda na po ng design Especially, maganda yung bright light dito na, Tsaka illuminated po yan na ma, ng paggabi, kitang kita po yan Okay? Tara, sunod po tayo dito. Ayan, nakamag wheels na po yan ha Kasi yung regular yung base model na espresso Naka hub rims lang Ito po, mag wheels na Ito, tignan natin doon Okay, napakadali pong uh, pasukin ng Suzuki Espresso. May tanyo po yung angle ng pagbukas ng pinto. Yan! 5.6 po ang height ko. Medyo ganyan ka para kita ko. Yan, okay lang. 5.6 po ang height ko. So, may tanyo po yung aking headroom. Okay naman po. Maluwag. Tsaka, syempre, ano, uh, yung sa aking legs, okay naman. Kahit i-adjust po natin yan, going far away doon, farther away doon eh, maganda po ang space kahit sa pasahero natin and ito po yung mga adjustments nya, and yung ating pong manibela, aha fix na po to, so ikaw na lang mag adjust sa manibela nya yun, very spacious naman po pag ikaw ay nagmamaneho, okay, ito po ang harapan uh, very nice naman very, yung ergonomics naman nya, okay naman tingnan natin likod Niya. So, madali pumasok. At very spacious. Kumahita nyo. Di ba po? Ayos. Tsaka, dito sa aking headroom, okay pa. Ma, ano pa po, maluwag-luwag pa po sa height ko na 5.6. At kasha po dito ang tatlong tao. Huwag lang po kalakihan. Uh, medyo shoulder to shoulder na kayo. Pero ayos lang naman. Legroom, panalo. Kita-kita nyo yan. Pasok na pasok. Okay. Okay. Diyan naman tayo sa kumula. So, yun. Dito, ganun din sa driver's seat, uh, the driver's passenger side, no? Uh, hindi naman kayo masikit dito. Kahit mag, medyo may space pa naman yung mga braso nyo. Okay? Kaya, okay naman. Okay rin ang seating, maganda rin yung headrest. Okay, sa space, okay lang, sakto lang. Kasya naman ang limang tao dito. Huwag lang yung mga malalaking tao. 
Pero okay na. You pay, hindi wala kang hindi ka magkakaroon ng feeling na na cramp kayo na parang sardinas, walang ganoon. Sakto lang ang pagkakaupo niyo rito, ang space niyo, ang ergonomics okay. Okay, ngayon tignan natin ang makina. Ito ay K10B 998cc 3-cylinder 12-valve gasoline engine na may multi-point fuel injection na may 67 horsepower at 5,500 RPM. Okay, tignan naman natin ang loob. The door is made of plastic and silver accents that have racing lines design. At meron din pocket space for a water bottle. May single speaker at both doors sa harap. Manual ang side mirror adjustments. And in terms naman of ergonomics, maganda ang angle ng door openings nito. So talagang very easy to embark and disembark. And just below the left side of the steering wheel, may abang na space to put switches in case gusto nyo magdagdag ng fog lights or car alarm indicator light. And the foot controls are well spaced and comfortable to operate. And the pull-up toggles to open the trunk and gasoline lid is just under the driver's seat. Seat adjustments are all manual but very satisfying to operate. All the seats are made of soft fabric and is really very very comfortable. The headrest is just right for my preference. Front seating is surprisingly spacious and comfortable. Legroom is just right for the average Filipino height and built. Side aircon vents are big at sobrang lakas ng buga ng lamig. Easy to operate pa ang light controls. A comfortable straight to the point steering wheel with a big Suzuki logo that houses an SRS airbag for optimum safety. The dashboard layout has a circular design at the center console and just on top are two aircon vents na malamig talaga ang buga ng aircon. There's also an SRS airbag sa front side passenger and just underneath that is a flat space for your things just like your cell phone. And just beneath the center infotainment system are the temperature controls. And underneath that are two cup holders. You'll also find a 12 volts charger and a USB charger for your gadgets. There's a space for your coins and stuff. The 5 gear transmission lever is easy to engage. The handbrake lever is off easy reach and operation and the seat belt locks are easy to find. Driving visibility is great. Front cabin light is good and the rear view mirror is just right to see everything behind. The sun visor blocks the sun well, but you won't find any vanity mirror here. Handrails are in all doors except the driver's side and are sturdy to hold on to. All doors in this special edition have silver accents with racing lines. All the silver accents have racing lines showing the sporty performance of the espresso. There's no fancy high-tech starting system here, just the plain key switch ignition. The digital speedometer turns on and the digits are all in orange color. After a few seconds, the infotainment screen turns on with an information animation. You can connect through this touchscreen via Bluetooth or listen to AM and FM radio. The speedometer displays all the needed driving information and is very visible night and day. You'll also find the front power windows control here together with the hazard lights. For a small vehicle, surprisingly the cabin space is not that cramped but is really spacious for people not more than 6 feet in height. Pero masikip ito sa medyo may kalalakihan at katabaan na tao kung pupunuin ng 5 seating nito. Sa likod naman, ang doors ay all plastic pa rin pero may armrest ito at manual window operation dito at plain lang ang doors without any pockets here. 
Very spacious din ng mga legs at paa sa likod and almost flat ang buong floor. Walang claustrophobic feeling at good na good ang comfort ng headrest at seats. It also has two seat belts here for passenger safety. Now let's pop the trunk and see how spacious it is. The moment you open the back door, you'll find a flat board separating it from the trunk cargo space below. There's a 239 liters cargo space and that is more than enough to fill it with your bags, your groceries, and some other stuff. The front passenger door has the same aesthetics with the driver's side door. There's a glove compartment to keep your paperwork inside. It may be a plain interior but you get what you need. And that's good enough for me. The exterior boasts a cool spoiler giving that sporty performance look. And that old school roof antenna gives it a more classic feel. It also functions well in terms of frequency connectivity. The side mirrors are of body color and the needed driver visibility is really good for a more safer drive. Tires are 14 inches alloy wheels and ang size ay 165 by 70 by 14 inches. In terms of its stopping power, naka ABS na ito making it even more fun and safe to drive. Dimensions are ang wheelbase 2380 mm, ang width 1520 mm, ang height is 1565 mm, ang length naman is 3565 mm, at ang ground clearance is 180 mm. It is also equipped of a parking sensor and foldable rear seats for more storage capacity and an incredible 27 to 29 km per liter fuel consumption. Sa looks naman, it's a small vehicle that's lifted a few inches from the ground and nagmumukha itong off-road capable. It gives that compact and economical character that resembles a practical utilitarian vehicle that brings more function but is at the same time sporty, rugged looking. A basic car that delivers the basic needs. The Suzuki Espresso is the best daily driver you can buy. Given its standards of quality and performance you get, your money's worth driving for. And with a price tag of 568,000 pesos, it's really worth every penny. It drives well, the chassis well balanced, the 1.0 liter engine very torquey with a satisfying acceleration and top end speeds. Aba, manghang mga talaga kami sa Suzuki Espresso na ito. It's compact yet very comfortable to drive, the suspension is good, and the ergonomics superb. It really is another amazing vehicle from Suzuki. With all the vehicles roaming the roads, it is about time for people to recognize this awesome car. This is good for young professionals who are starting their careers and families who are looking for their very first affordable vehicle. We've tested and ridden a lot of vehicles that offers convenience and economy and we find the Suzuki Espresso Special Edition a top contender for the subcompact segment. It's good looking, it's a performer, it's economical, and it's a Suzuki. Eto guys, ang Suzuki Espresso, di ba? Panalo, di ba? Uh, mura na. Kalidad pa at saka it's really fun to drive, okay? Ayun po ang ating pong review dito po sa Suzuki Espresso. Okay? Sa susunod po natin ulit pagkikita, okay guys? Ha? Dito po sa Pinoy Extreme, sa kay Pilipinas. Okay, ako po ulit si Kadyo and see you next time.